Welcome to the Sharper Image Gemstone Collection. Although we take tremendous pride in our high-tech products, the Sharper Image has also made a name for itself, offering quality gemstones to a large audience. Letters from satisfied customers attest to the high quality and outstanding value of our gemstone division. Edward Shine, Phoenix, Arizona, writes, I recently purchased a 4-carat emerald-type blue topaz pendant at your retail shop in Denver. I paid $99, and the pendant was appraised by a local gemologist at $325. Thank you for such high-quality merchandise. Arthi Karn, Tacoma, Washington. I'm very happy that the stone I paid a total of $1,504 for was appraised at just over three times that figure. Nelson D. Shearer, Pomona, California. Enclosed is a copy of the appraisal on the emerald purchased from the Sharper Image. The appraised value is four times my original cost. Needless to say, I am one satisfied customer. The Sharper Image carries a wide variety of colored stones suitable for both jewelry and collection purposes. Gemstone terminology can be confusing. A brief definition of the most common terms is very helpful. The fineness of gold is measured in carats. 24 carat gold is 100% pure gold, a form which is too soft to use in jewelry. In 14 carat gold, 58.5% gold is blended with other materials to ensure beauty and durability. A carat is a metric measurement which is used to assess a gem's weight. One carat is equal to one-fifth of a gram. One hundred points equals one carat. Brilliance is the effect produced by the return of light from the gem. It is largely a function of proper cutting. Clarity, or freedom from flaws, often determines the value of a faceted gem. Inclusions are the natural imperfections occurring naturally in gems. Most emeralds and rubies have inclusions, and this is perfectly normal. A larger stone with a lower density can have the same carat weight as a smaller stone. This pink tourmaline is larger than the blue sapphire, yet both weigh in at 2.34 carats. Since gems are sold by weight rather than size, a smaller stone might be more expensive than a larger one. Hardness is a measure of resistance to scratching. 1 to 10 is used to measure hardness, with 1 being the softest and 10 being the hardest. A diamond, the hardest gem, measures 10. We carry gems in eight cuts, and some gems may not be available in every cut due to the nature of each stone. This is a cabochon cut. It's a smooth cut without facets. Most opals are cut in a version of the cabochon. Note that the black opal is cut in a flatter version of the cabochon than the white opal. The sharper image also offers cabochon cut amethysts like this beautiful amethyst pendant. An emerald cut is a rectangular cut with facets on the sides. Though named emerald, a variety of gems are available in this cut, such as this blue topaz. The flat top or table of a gem in an emerald is cut much larger than the table in other cuts, such as a round or oval cut. A longer, narrower version of the emerald cut is the baguette cut. The side facets are larger than those of the emerald cut, while the table of the gem is smaller. The brilliant cut is most familiar as the common cut for a diamond engagement ring. When viewing a brilliant cut stone from the side, you will notice how the stone tapers down from the table into a point. This is an example of a pear cut. A pear cut stone can have a wide shape, as in this blue topaz, or it can be narrower, like this golden imperial topaz. This is an example of a cushion-cut blue topaz. A cushion-cut gem resembles a small cushion or pillow. The shape can be square or rectangular. The oval cut has more rounded corners than the cushion cut. The table of the oval cut is also smaller, while the sides are more faceted. Carrot, brilliance, clarity, inclusions, density, and cut. These terms form the basic vocabulary of the Sharper Image Gemstone Collection. Our collection of precious stones includes members of a number of gemstone families. Rubies and sapphires are two of the hardest stones, second only to diamond, rating nine on the hardness scale. As a result, these gems wear extremely well in all kinds of jewelry. Stones in this family can occur in a range of colors from green to blue to yellow to pink to deep red. Rubies and sapphires sold at the Sharper Image are mined in Thailand. 
The most highly valued sapphire color is a medium blue with a slight tinge of violet. Sapphires are the birthstone for September. A lesser known fiery yellow version is the golden sapphire. Ruby is one of the rarest and most valuable of all colored gems, ranging from $100 to $30,000 per carat, depending on stone size, color, and clarity. The sharper image offers rubies in loose gems and in jewelry, such as this beautiful ruby ring. Common cuts for all rubies and sapphires are the oval and cushion cuts, as seen in this oval cut blue sapphire and this cushion cut ruby. Emeralds and aquamarines are two very popular gemstones in a different family. Emeralds, highly prized since Egyptian times for their mystical green color, are the most valuable of these gems. Small flaws called inclusions are characteristic of most emeralds. These inclusions, in fact, indicate to the customer that the gem is a true emerald. While the hardness of emeralds and aquamarines is 7.5 to 8 on the hardness scale, inclusions make emerald a fragile gem. Emeralds require care in both mounting and wear to avoid damage. The emerald or rectangular shaped cut is preferred for emeralds, especially large stones. With fewer facets than the oval or brilliant cut, the emerald cut gives durability for this fragile gem. Emerald is the May birthstone. The sharper image buys emerald mined primarily from Zambia and Brazil. A blue relative of the emerald is the aquamarine. A quality aquamarine should be clear and lack inclusions. Freedom from inclusions also make aquamarines more durable than emeralds. Most aquamarines are pale blue, with value increasing as intensity of color deepens. The sharper image obtains this valuable March birthstone from Brazil. Similar in color to the aquamarine is the blue topaz. Blue topaz is the most popular of the sharper image gemstones due to its reasonable price and brilliant blue color. All blue topaz is pale or colorless in its natural state. Irradiation produces the brilliant blue characteristic to the blue topaz as sold in its finished state. This process is safe and stone color is permanent. Brazilian deposits offer the largest crystals of the blue topaz. Those with November birthdays can choose topaz in the blue variety or in the more familiar golden peach tone of this imperial topaz. All varieties of topaz are very hard, eight on the hardness scale, yet are somewhat fragile. Garnets may be orange, yellow, brown, violet, green, or colorless, but most garnets are a wine red color like this cushion-cut gem. They offer an affordable alternative to the more precious ruby. Rhodolite is a rare, expensive garnet. Rhodolites are usually violet-red in color, like this pear-cut stone. As the January birthstone, garnets are a popular jewelry choice. This brilliant green garnet is a savorite. The light body color of the savorite takes full advantage of the high dispersion quality of garnets so gems are tremendously brilliant. Garnets range from 6.5 to 7.5 on the hardness scale, making them suitable for a wide range of settings and styles. Quartz rates 7 on the hardness scale and wears well in rings and many other types of jewelry. Gemstones in this family are amethyst and citrine. Amethyst is the most highly prized quartz gem the rich purple or lilac color of this February birthstone makes amethyst a popular gemstone. The sharper image buys amethysts mined in Brazil and offers a wide variety in both mounted and unmounted stones. Citrine is another popular quartz gem which the sharper image buys in Brazil. This gem comes most often in a golden color referred to as yellow citrine. This unusual stone is gaining popularity as both a collector's gem and as a jewelry item. The tourmaline family displays the most dazzling variety of colors of all known gemstones. The most valuable tourmalines are red with a tinge of purple or violet. The sharper image offers both pink and green tourmalines, which we obtain from Brazilian mines. Pink tourmalines are quite popular, especially in a heart cut. 
Green tourmalines, particularly when they are the color of emeralds, are also very desirable. Tourmalines are hard and durable, rating 7 to 7.5 on the hardness scale, and therefore can easily be cut in a variety of shapes for jewelry. Kunzite is a transparent pink or lilac colored stone. Kunzite is trichroic, which means that it can appear violet, pink, or colorless when viewed from different angles. Kunzite is generally cut into large gemstones so as to enhance its delicate color. The hardness rating for kunzite is 7. This gem is very difficult to cut and easy to break unless worn with care. Another gem which displays a multicolored quality is andalusite. This gem appears in greenish brown, reddish brown, and sometimes gray colors. All wear well on olive complexions. Hardness of andalusite is 7.5. The stone is tough and durable. From the African country of Tanzania comes the dazzling violet blue gem, tanzanite. Due to decreased mine production, tanzanite has become increasingly more valuable. Fine specimens may resemble brilliant blue sapphires, hence tanzanite's great popularity. Tanzanite, however, has a hardness of only six. It is a weak stone that is also fragile. These qualities make tanzanite a poor choice for a ring stone, although it is suitable for wear in pendants and earrings. Peridot is a gem whose warm color is less intense than that of an emerald or a tourmaline. This pale green gem is the birthstone for those born in August. Peridot is somewhat delicate for use in rings, with hardness being six to seven. This is somewhat soft for a gemstone. The sharper image obtains fine peridot from Arizona. Varied and delicate, opal has been treasured since ancient times for its unique properties and beauty. The flecks of color which characterize precious opal are called fire. The sharper image offers two varieties of opal, white opal and black opal. White opal is the most common opal seen in jewelry. Its opaque base reflects a fire of blue, pink, and green pastel colors. Black opal is a rare and most expensive variety of opal, recently added to the sharper image gemstone collection. Its dark gray or black body has color play of blue, yellow, green, and orange. Opal is a fragile gem due to the presence of water in the structure. The gradual loss of this water may cause opal fire to fade and also cause crazing or fine internal cracks in the stone. The opal is quite soft, rating 5.5 to 6.5 on the hardness scale. Consequently, opals are cut in the non-faceted cabochon cut. This softness makes opals poor ringstones. Pearl is a popular gem which is not of mineral origin. Pearl is organic material formed by a mollusk reacting to an irritation in its body. The sharper image sells only the white variety of pearls. White pearls can be light rose, cream, or cream rose colored. Those with June birthdays have three varieties of white pearls to choose from. Saltwater pearls are the familiar round-shaped variety found in necklaces and earrings. The sharper image obtains cultured saltwater pearls from Japan. Freshwater pearls are produced by mussels. They are often referred to as rice pearls due to their irregular shape. The sharper image buys these rice pearls from China. Moby pearls are formed from blister pearls, which have been cut from the mollusk shell and then cemented onto a mother of pearl base. Pearl value is based on color luster, translucence, texture, shape, and size. Small increases in size result in large increases in value. The sharper image sells diamonds, primarily as earrings or as accents to colored gemstones. Diamonds are best known for their hardness and their brilliance. They appear most often in a brilliant cut to enhance their sparkle. Size, color, and clarity are the primary determinants of quality for this April birthstone. Iolite is a gray blue stone with a hardness of seven to 7.5. It is offered only in the rainbow jewelry and the miner's ball jewelry. A one carat deep blue salon sapphire forms the centerpiece of this replica of Princess Diana's engagement ring. Lapis lazuli is a rock gem with a deep royal color. 
The hardness of lapis is 5.5 to 6, yet the stone wears well because scratches can be easily polished out. Lapis is currently available at the Sharper Image in a ring and coupling set. Natural onyx is black and white banded chalcedony or a microscopically crystallized quartz. This chalcedony is then dyed black to produce black onyx such as that seen in this Sharper Image coupling set. Now that you've learned some basic facts about the Sharper Image gemstone line, you can apply this knowledge to the identification of different gems. All Sharper Image unmounted gemstones are kept in containers which have been identified by a gemologist. It is important, however, for you to be able to distinguish gemstones from one another to avoid placing them in the wrong container or to aid in identifying mounted stones in jewelry. Your knowledge of gem clarity, brilliance, hue, and color intensity is the most basic way to distinguish gems which look similar at a glance. Stone hue and clarity vary according to the quality and variety of the gem. The sharper image sells four green gemstones, emerald, savorite, green tourmaline, and peridot. Both emerald and savorite have a blue-green color and could easily be confused by the inexperienced salesperson. Both the bright color and the presence of inclusions in the emerald distinguish it from the other green stones. The tourmaline is the darker stone of the four. It usually has an olive rather than a blue-green hue. The high dispersion of light of the savorite also identifies it as the more brilliant of the two gems. Peridot is readily identified as a clear stone with a lime green hue. It's the lightest of the green stones sold at the sharper image. Red gemstones are perhaps the most difficult stones to distinguish from one another. The sharper image sells three red gemstones, garnets, rubies, and rhodolites. Garnets can be distinguished by their wine red color as compared to the rose red of a rhodolite or ruby. Rhodolites may have a violet tone and tend to be less intense in color than rubies. If the stone is large, chances are it will be a rhodolite since rubies weighing over two carats are quite rare. Examination of all but the most valuable rubies also reveals that most have at least a few inclusions. The sharper image carries four blue gemstones, blue topaz, aquamarine, sapphire, and tanzanite. Pale blue aquamarine and bright blue topaz can be easily distinguished on the basis of color alone Aquamarine rarely obtains the intense blue color of a blue topaz. A bright blue aquamarine and a pale blue topaz, however, can be quite similar in appearance. Care must be taken to avoid confusing these gems whose value is very different. To identify these gems, it is important to know that the brilliance of an aquamarine is much greater than the brilliance of a blue topaz. Note the high light dispersion of the aquamarine as compared to the blue topaz. Sapphire and tanzanite are the sharper image's deep blue gems. Tanzanite such as this one usually has a violet blue cast. More valuable specimens, however, may be sapphire blue in color. To identify which gem is a sapphire, tanzanites are usually more transparent in color than sapphires. This makes the tanzanite appear to be the more brilliant gem. The sharper image's pink gems are kunzite and pink tourmaline. Familiarity with these gems makes their identification quite simple. Kunzite is a very pale pink gem with a violet cast. It is often cut in large sizes to enhance its color. Pink tourmaline is a bright pink gem which also has greater light dispersion than the kunzite. Golden gems may range from bright yellow to peach to bright orange. The sharper images golden gemstones are yellow sapphire, yellow citrine, and imperial topaz. Yellow citrine and yellow sapphire are the most similar of the golden stones. The yellow citrine may have golden tones, but it can also be bright yellow like the sapphire. Yellow sapphires are not usually available in sizes above three carats, so this large stone can be confidently identified as a yellow citrine. Yellow sapphire also has a particularly high brilliance. Imperial topaz can also resemble the orange-colored citrine or yellow citrine. Most often, however, it has a golden peach rather than yellow or orange hue. It is also a more transparent stone than the citrines. 
customers will appreciate your advice on the value and care of gems. Be sure to inform them that fragile stones like emeralds and opals should be professionally cleaned only and should never be immersed in solution. The Sharper Images Connoisseur Electrosonic Machine, for instance, is not suitable for cleaning these gems, although it is safe for most other gems. You should use your expertise to guide a customer to the gem which best suits his or her needs and price range. A customer may want to buy a large stone that is reasonably priced. A good suggestion would be kunzite, blue topaz, yellow citrine, or amethyst. Some customers may wish to buy a green gemstone, but are worried about the fragility of an emerald. Savorite is a more durable alternative with comparable value and color. For those looking for something unusual, tricolored andalusite or fiery black opal are good suggestions. And blue topaz is a popular alternative to the more expensive aquamarine. The uninformed buyer will hesitate before making a risky gemstone purchase. Educate your customers and encourage their questions. You will transform their uncertainty into trust and confidence. Each gemstone has qualities which give it special appeal. As a sharper image sales associate, it is important for you to be knowledgeable about these qualities. Equally important is a firm knowledge of the techniques of gemstone presentation. The important areas of gemstone presentation are security, display, and sales technique. It is important to be aware of each of these elements as you work with your customers. Security. Most people think that armed robbery is the primary security concern. Yet, the casual shoplifter most often is the cause of inventory shrinkage. Mishandling of gems and merchandise damage is also a security concern. By following some basic security measures, you can learn to prevent these opportunities for theft and damage. It is rare that a customer will attempt to steal a gem. The unnoticed bystander poses the greatest shoplifting threat. The key to avoiding this kind of theft is to remain cautious and aware of your surroundings. Lock the display case each time you remove or replace a gem. Note the gem's location in the display box as you remove it to mentally fix its proper place. Remove no more than three or four pieces at a time. This allows you greater control over each gem. Keep the containers close to your body, out of reach of others. Casually rest your hand near the containers. Don't turn away from the customer. If you need to get out some equipment, maintain eye contact and conversation. You may need to carry the gems with you. Remember, it only takes a second for that $3,000 emerald to disappear. Use the jewelry pad and tweezers when showing the gems. Dropping a gem on the glass may cause it to chip or break. Work from left to right when taking similar gems from their boxes. Handle the gems one at a time to avoid confusion. Return the gems to their original boxes before looking at another stone. Place an empty box in any unfilled display spaces. Then you will know immediately if a gem is missing. At the end of the day, replace the empty containers with duplicate gems, which should always be kept in the safe. Again, the key security points are Lock the display case. Note gem location. Show only three to four pieces at a time. Keep gems close by. Don't turn away. Use proper equipment. Work from left to right. Fill empty spaces and keep duplicates locked up. Jewelry display is another important part of a sharper image gemstone presentation. Display pads come in a variety of shapes for necklaces, rings, earrings, and matched sets. As you set up the jewelry, put the price sticker on the display card or pad. Arrange matching sets to suggest an ensemble. A mixture of different styles can give a messy look. Group similar earrings, rings, and gemstones together to keep the display uncluttered. A creative display is the best way to draw the customer's attention. You'll need certain tools handy before you can begin the sale. A lamp, a mirror, a gem book, a cloth, a ring sizer, 
a jeweler's loop, a pair of tweezers, a ruler, and of course, keys to the display case. Once a customer notices the display, he may hesitate if you ask to show him something. Instead, let him get a closer look at the jewelry right away. Encourage interaction with the gems to overcome any initial hesitance. Educate the customer about the gem. First, use the cloth to polish each stone which you show. Place it on the jewelry pad and move it underneath a lamp if possible. Then show him how to examine the stone with the jeweler's loop. Turn the stone so that the table is facing up. Use the tweezers to pick it up. To use the loop, bring your hands together while holding the gem in the tweezers. Balance it against your cheek for support, moving the gem to where it is in focus. You can easily see any chips or inclusions in the stone. Stones look better when held next to the skin. Show the gem on your hand, then slip it into the customer's hand. The personal touch of this technique makes it an extremely effective way to close a sale. Use the gem book as a reference for any difficult questions. Wait to mention price until the customer asks for the information. When showing jewelry, certain techniques work better than others. Place rings on the customer carefully. You may not want to slip it entirely over the knuckle if it's a small ring. Have the customer look at the ring in the mirror for the best effect. Use the mirror to show jewelry which cannot be tried on in the store. Hygiene laws prohibit customers from trying on earrings. Holding them up to your ears offers a good alternative. Customers shopping for gifts may need suggestions. When offering suggestions, remember that older customers may prefer larger stones. The right gem can look attractive even on small hands. Emerald, ruby, savorite, sapphire, and tanzanite are good for those wanting a small stone of greater value. Darker stones look good on pale complexions, which allow for more reflection of light. And the proper birthstone can make a perfect gift. Customers often will want to substitute gems in sharper image jewelry. This can be done only in rare instances. Stones in the collector sets cannot be substituted. Instead, offer alternatives. If a customer has a particular stone in mind, he can buy it loose and have it set by a jeweler in the design of his choice. Remind customers that the sharper image is a gemstone distributor, not a jeweler. We cannot set loose stones or recommend specific jewelers to our customers. We can, however, offer quality gemstones at a very good price. Be sure to mention that we encourage customers to appraise our gems and will pay them $20 if they send us a copy of the appraiser's receipt. This book of testimonials verifies the high quality and value of our gemstone collection. Your expert knowledge of the gemstone collection is highly important because the customer's impression of you will be their impression of the sharper image. Skill and knowledge in customer contact build customer confidence and satisfaction.